Hi everybody, we're back. The last section of the state board exam is the relaxer. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. At this point in time, your mannequin should already be draped for chemical services. Um, on the right front section, she'll have her foils in. The right rear section, she'll have her half inch color retouch. And now on the left side of the head, the left front section will be a virgin relaxer application. The left back will be a one and a half inch relaxer retouch. So you need to have your gloves for when you put the relaxer on. I recommend having an extra towel to wipe your hands off. You need a container with cholesterol in it labeled relaxer. <clears throat> you need a container with colored gel in it labeled protective base. You need to have your non-metal rat tail comb, um, a color brush to apply the relaxer, and something to take the gel out of the container because using your fingers is not sanitary. So let's get started. The gel needs to be done in one operation, meaning you're going to do the virgin and the relaxer at the same time. So I'm going to use my stick, take some gel out. I'm going to put the gel on the back of my dominant hand. So I'm right-handed, I'll put it on my left hand. Keep my rat tail comb in my right hand. First thing I'm going to do is outline the section. We wanna protect the skin from the relaxer, which is cholesterol for this procedure. So you're going to go through, outline the section, and then using your comb, make half inch partings, fold the hair up, and put the product at the scalp. So this is mimicking a sodium hydroxide relaxer that would have a base, meaning that if the product were to get onto the skin, it would burn. Notice I'm holding this hair within my left hand instead of pushing it up with my hand because you do not want the gel to spread anywhere onto that hair because you want to relax all of the hair. Okay, when we're done with the gel on the virgin application, we're going to leave this hair out, do not clip it. And on the relaxer application, I'm sorry, on the retouch application, we also want to outline our section. All the way around. And then take our half inch partings we will put the, or the gel at the scalp, and then there's one more step to this. Skip an inch and a half of hair, take some gel on your fingers, and you're going to apply that gel to the rest of the strand. So basically we're saying that this hair had already been relaxed, and we don't want to get any more relaxer on that hair. Your examiner will be able to see that you have it done properly. If that part of the hair appears to be a little bit darker, because that gel product is on there. Make sure that you get good coverage and lay it over. I need some more gel, so when I come over, make sure that you use your plastic spoon, your wooden stick, whatever it is that you have that you're using to take the gel out of the container with. Lift this up, again, at the scalp. Skip the inch and a half, and then go all the way through the rest of the strand. So you would do this all the way down to the bottom. I think you probably have the idea of how to do that, so I'm not going to finish. When you're done with that extra towel, go ahead and wipe that gel off of your hand. And now it is time to begin the actual relaxer. So you need to put your gloves on. And if, by the way, you would like to put your gloves on before you do the gel application, that's completely fine and up to you. So now open up your container that has the relaxer. You have your color brush. I always recommend to my students to have extras of everything. Sometimes when you're nervous, you tend to drop things. If you were to drop your brush, you would need to then um, disinfect it properly before you use it. Okay, so on my virgin application, I'm going to take this. We all know that hair on a real person processes faster, closer to the scalp because of body heat. So for that reason, you're going to take your product, apply it about a half inch away from the scalp, you can bring it all the way through to the ends, or you can skip the ends. Whichever you would like is fine here, as long as in the end, we do end up getting complete coverage. 
make sure that you have that coverage through both sides. Careful when you lay this over not to get the product on your mannequin's face. If you do accidentally get the product on face, you will not lose points as long as you wipe it off right away. So again, that's the reason to have that other towel with you. Lift this up, make sure that we have good coverage. Again, skipping a half inch at the scalp. Good coverage, getting this all the way through. Lifting it up, making sure I have it on the other side. You would continue this process all the way to the bottom of the section. Then you need to go back and put the product at the scalp and on the ends. I recommend to my students to start then at the bottom of the section and work your way back up through the top. So we'll pretend that this is the bottom of my section. Take the product. It's okay if you get it on the scalp area because you have that protective base, but you're not trying to put it on the scalp area. I tell my students when they're done with that, use your pointer and your middle finger to kind of flat iron or flatten that hair, so to speak, so that it comes down and it's nice and straight because ultimately you're trying to relax or straighten the hair. So that's the formation that you'll want it to be in. So again, I have my product all the way on and come down. You don't want to do that too hard because you don't want to take the product off of the hair. If you really squeeze your fingers together, you'll end up taking the cholesterol off. Okay. When you are done with the entire section, the last thing I recommend for my students to do is just to go around the section again and outline it with the cholesterol to make sure that you have complete coverage. Then we're finished with the virgin application. Now we're coming back to the retouch. Remember, the retouch is a one and a half inch. So again, you need to stay away from the scalp about that first half of an inch. If you have that towel with you, I recommend wiping your hands off before you start. Starting from the top of the section, you will skip the one half of an inch and you will put the product on the one inch of hair. Try not to cross it over, but again, if you do, you have that gel there to protect it. Lay it over, take your next subsection, which at this point should be really easy, easy to see because that gel will start to form on the hair and it keeps it nice and separated for you. Again, skipping the half inch and putting it on the one inch of hair, complete coverage. Okay, again, you would continue this all the way down to the bottom of the section and then from the bottom of the, bottom of the section, working your way back up, you will go and put this product at the half inch at the scalp. Make sure you have complete coverage. I do not recommend for the retouch flat ironing it, so to speak, with your fingers. I would just leave it there because you can pull the hair nice and straight when you're doing this. Just like when we did the front section, the virgin application, when you're done with the retouch, I recommend also going through and outlining the section. At that point in time, your examiner would come over, check your procedure, and then they would advise you to start cleaning up and disinfecting your station. You can take a deep breath at that point because you are finished. Good luck on your state board exam. If you like my video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.